Hello you guys, Sandal6 Game here with another command block tutorial. So, today I am doing the slash summon command. As you can see, I've got quite a bit more commands than with slash give. So this one is gonna be a bit longer. And, uh, yeah. So basically I'm gonna go over all the extra things you can add to the slash summon command to make it more specific and spawn some really cool mobs. So, uh, I don't know, um, oh no wait, it started here, right? I don't know where the first command is. I've got so many of these, um, was it over here? No? Crap, I don't know. Oh, yeah. It started here, I think. So, first of all, it's just a slash summon command, a giant. And then co coordinates at which it will summon the giant, it's right there. So if I click this, it's not on. <laughs> so now if I click this, it will summon a giant right there. So just a minute, because these mobs are very irritating. If they're all running around, so I need to get this one from the previous video. So I can just kill them. So, um... Basically, it's just slash summon giant and then the exact coordinates. It's just a basic command. Also, you can use tiddles, which is uh, relative to the command block where it's gonna spawn. So it's two y coordinates above the command blocks. So that's right there. And uh, yeah, I use these more because it's just easy when you're setting it up like this. If it's actually in a map, you probably want to use these because then you can be more specific. So, next we have a giant and then curly bracket writing with a capital R, uh, bell and dot, curly bracket, ID, bat. Um, also, also, every mob is with a capital letter uh, thing. So, ending with two curly brackets. And there it is. A uh, giant writing a bat. So, yeah. And actually on my last video someone commented that it would be nice for a world download so that we could explore these commands ourselves, uh, they could explore the commands ourselves. So there will be a command, uh, a world download in this video, I will add it to the previous tutorials as well, so you can uh, look around in this world for yourself. So next we've got uh, horses, cause with horses, um, has actually several types of horses uh, more mobs have this um, I can't name one exactly right now but I think more mobs have it but horses have random textures and stuff but here you can actually choose which one you want so I chose the type 3 which is actually a zombie horse <coughs> type 4 is a skeleton horse I'm gonna turn my sound down a little bit so. type 4 is a skeleton horse um, I don't know, those two are just really cool to use if you are gonna make mobs riding horses. They also make really cool sounds when they die. So, um, I hope you understand it so far. It's all between curly brackets and just type 4. It's really easy actually, so far. So, then we have, um, uh, I'll scroll back, but it just, uh, just says slash summon, summon zombie till little one little curly brackets riding again uh, the riding command again id entity horse but just riding isn't enough so i did type 3 because i want a zombie on a zombie horse and tame one that's to actually have a tame horse so that it won't spawn and the zombie won't immediately get kicked off because it isn't tame yet so it's now tamed and zombie on a horse <laughs> So yeah, zombie on a zombie horse is this right here. And yeah, that's also pretty easy. Just uh, the uh, these are really important that you put those between everything. Type three, tame one, then ending with two curly brackets. Next, an equipped zombie. I think I gave this one a diamond sword or nail. Iron sword and full iron armor. So, zombie, then equipment. Because we already uh, went over that. So, equipment, uh, square bracket, curly bracket, 
ID, then the ID of the weapon you want, and then you start from the helmet and go down to the boot. So between curly brackets, the ID of the helmet you wanted, then the ID of the chest plate you wanted going on like that. Always between curly brackets, and if you've got all the equipment there, square brackets. And you can't just say um, IDs, IDs, and not write these ones. You have to do the curly brackets, but you just leave them empty. And then ending with a curly bracket, square bracket, curly bracket. So, that's a fully equipped zombie. It's uh, So, um, what I want to show you is like, if you do this, if you like want it to only have a helmet, you can just delete this and have some empty curly brackets. Now it will only have a sword and a helmet. Oh, boots, actually, sorry. Um, actually, it does start with boots, by the way. Um, so yeah, that's how the equipment works. Uh, I hope you it's understandable. It's not too hard, I think. Between curly brackets, just the whole command, then equipment, square brackets. And between that, always between curly brackets, ID, and then the ID of weapon, boots, uh, pants, chest plate, helmet, and then a square bracket. Another curly bracket and there you go. So, oh, I think I just messed up the command, but that, that doesn't matter. I'll fix that later. So, next we have uh, slash summon zombie with equipment, which is ju basically just the equipment. I just showed you that. I'm not gonna get say it again. Then uh, go this right here. Once again, don't know what to call it. Writing. Uh, I also already showed you this, so now we have an equipped zombie on a zombie horse. Which is basically just combining two by putting this between it, instead of, and no bracket in front of this, and just, um, uh, by the way, all the commands will be in the description, and there will be a world download, so that won't be a problem, I think, so, thing one, type three, um, so this is equipped zombie on a zombie horse. As you can see, pretty cool. He is a bit high on the horse, I would say, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's also just showing that you can combine commands by just putting that right there. You can also like uh, combine all the other things I'm gonna show you and make a hell of a long command. But if you're gonna make those long commands, it will get uh, take a while to get them working, cause you will often have problems with the brackets probably so this one is just slash summon zombie then um, custom name visible everything with capitals um, one custom name visible the custom name zombie and then and at the end the only brackets you have to use here are just between brackets the whole command no extra brackets whatsoever and there's zombie <laughs> zombie so that actually is not that hard also you can like have you can give a g actually set any name in here so really doesn't matter as long as between these um, all the reading signs I don't know um, are really important here the brackets and these because if you forget one of them the whole command won't work so that's a uh, name zombie <laughs> zombie now I think this, yeah, this is a pretty long one. So, and let me scroll back. Yes, I think yes, this is a zombie with full diamond equipment, diamond uh, armor, diamond sword. You can also give an honor then sword. Um, custom name visible one, custom name zombie king one. Again, this is a command that combines things I already explained. So it's riding a bat. It's custom name. And it has equipment. It basically combines three of the things I explained so far. The name is Zombie King. And there we go, <laughs> Zombie King. So this command, um, the easiest to do, I think, is um, just copy these commands and put in your own custom names or equipment uh, equipment numbers, data tags, or that. That's probably the e easiest way to uh, use these. So, next... Um, Summon Prime TNT. So when you actually summon Prime TNT, it will not summon TNT and have its normal fuse. It will just, wait, just summon an 
immediate explosion. <coughs> Sorry. Um, um, so yeah, you can adjust the fuse by just saying fuse between brackets and then how long you want the fuse to be. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put a block way up there so that I don't blow up my command block section. Um, command blocks won't actually. Command blocks are resistant to TNT, but still they don't want to blow up the rest. So but that's, that's always a bit baggy with the fuse because it only has the animation for so long, and after that the fuse just goes on until it explodes explodes so yeah fuse that's pretty easy to use actually just still little 15 I use here prime TNT TNT and primed are with are with capitals not the whole TNT so that's a good one to remember next uh, what we have here is such summon skeleton equipment uh, we've got no sword no boots no pants no chest plate and then damage tree ID 397 tag school owner MFH ghost so this actually a list I still need to put this in the description of my previous slash gift command that um, shows all the MHF and then ghost MHF play actually I don't think I need to put it there because it's just MFH and then the name of the mob with a capital so it's actually really simple so We've got uh, this all here. This is just the equipment things I uh, explained earlier. This is damage. Uh, I actually am not sure why it's damage tree. Yeah, I'm not too sure actually. ID 397. Uh, oh, yeah, because with the slash give command, I'd use 39713. This is tree 397 with ID before tag and then between curly brackets skull owner mfh gas so this will summon a skeleton with a ghast head i think it looks really cool this mob um uh, i thought of it myself i think it's pretty cool i think i'm gonna use it in one of the maps i'm currently working on so let's just kill it there and uh, that's also cool so you can not only equip uh, mobs with armor you can equip them with you can actually oh you can equip them with mob hats so I can actually also just if I fill in my username here oh wait keyboard is messing up so it should do that look it's me in skeleton form so yeah you can basically just put any ID of and stuff in there Next, um, yes, what do I have? yes, attributes. So we have attributes, um, name, that's J. You can put many attributes. If you can put more than one of uh, something like attributes and equipment, you always have to do it between curly brackets and square brackets if there are several. So, name, generic dot movement speed. Da, uh, come base zero point point I think it was zero zero one curly brackets square brackets curly brackets so this will basically mean it will spawn a mob that cannot move so yeah it's gonna die so let's this is important oh wait actually he's not dying what was he so if I go slash game mode zero, he wants to chase me. He looks at me. If he just can't. See, he he's gonna jump. He ca he's jumping, but he can't move. He just can't move because that's what we um changed. You can also do it the other way around by just putting here. Um, Actually, let's do two, because otherwise it will be out of the screen immediately. And then that happens. Where did it go? I just saw it running around there. So you can make it faster or slower or completely, completely immobile. So right here, um, what was this command again? Oh yeah, 
I've got uh, two, I think two potion effects, strength and invisibility, no, fire resistance I think, and I don't know which one it was, um, and then attributes, knockback resistance 1.0, so that actually means if I get TNT right here, and I spawn it, just need to get it to follow me. So, as you can see, all these zombies will blow away and he will just stay in his exact place. He will still die, but as you saw, he was like here, because he had knockback resistance, and the zombies went all the way over there and blew that. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, that's what the knockback resistance does. There are more of these... Uh, of these attributes I will put a list of them in the description so that you can look at them yourself try them all out like maximum health and all that kind of stuff so <laughs> I'm just telling that while I'm building this closed so yeah I think I've got a few more commands I will go to those right now so oh this actually oh I already had I set up for boss though. Oops. You know what I'm gonna do then? I'm gonna set this one back to remote mode. Because that wasn't actually necessary. Just a minute. Sorry, music. Not now. So. Active effects. Um, the other one already had this, but active effects is basically just effects that are af active on the mobs, potion effects so I've got ID 11, I really don't know what 11 is Amplifier 6, duration 1000 so what was 11? was it... fire resistance? yes it was or wasn't it? well he's taking damage from the fire but he isn't dying from it so it was fire resistance probably so that's fire resistance so you can make a skeleton that won't actually die in the day well if that isn't a nightmare that sucks so yeah actually I think those are all the attributes the equipment active effects um, what else do we have to fuse for the TNT and custom names all the uh, writing, of course, more basic ones, and yeah, that's actually really cool. So I'm gonna fix the commands I changed and or messed up a little bit, and then this command uh, video will be going up with a world download. World download will be added to everything. All the commands will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was very helpful to you. Um, I really like making these. I think slash test four is and the next one I can actually do some really cool things with. So um, like, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.